Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about Prim's algorithm for finding the minimum spanning tree in a weighted undirected graph. But first, what is a minimum spanning tree? A minimum spanning tree is essentially a tree. It spans or covers all the vertices in a graph. Among all the trees which span the graph, the minimum spanning tree is that tree which has the least weight. Let's now look at Prim's algorithm for finding the minimum spanning tree. Prim's algorithm starts off by selecting any vertex V. In this case, vertex 0 is selected as a source from which Prim's algorithm begins. We look at all the edges that start from 0, the edge between 0 and 1 and the edge between 0 and 2. We add both these edges into a priority queue. In the priority queue, the edge with the least weight is at the head of the priority queue. In this case, the edge between 0 and 1, which has a value of 8, is at the head of the priority queue. Now we are going to iterate through this priority queue till it is not empty. So currently the priority queue is not empty. So we select the edge between 0 and 1, which has a value of 8. We look at the other vertex, which in this case is 1. 1 is not currently a part of the minimum spanning tree. So what we do is we add 1 along with the corresponding edge between 0 and 1 into the minimum spanning tree T. We then look at all the edges that start from 1. We add all these edges into the priority queue. We then iterate through this process again. We are now going to look at the edge between 1 and 4, which has a value of 9. We add the vertex 4 along with the edge between 1 and 4 into the minimum spanning tree T. Now we look at all the edges that start from 4. We add all these edges into the priority queue. Next, we look at the edge between 0 and 2, which has a value of 12 and should be at the head of the priority queue. 2 is still not a part of the minimum spanning tree, so we add the vertex 2 along with the edge between 0 and 2 into the minimum spanning tree. We then look at all the edges that start from 2. We add all these edges into the priority queue. Next, we select the edge between 1 and 2, as it has the least value. You will see that 2 is already in the minimum spanning tree. Hence, we ignore this edge between 1 and 2. Next, we select the edge between 2 and 3 because it has a value of 14 and it is the least valued edge which is in the priority queue. We add 3 and this edge between 2 and 3 into the minimum spanning tree. We look at all the edges that start from 3. We add them into the priority queue. Repeating this process, we'll next add 5 along with the edge between 3 and 5 into the minimum spanning tree. We'll next select the edge between 5 and 7 from the priority queue and add this edge along with vertex 7 into the minimum spanning tree. We'll then select the edge between 7 and 8 and add 8 along with this edge into the minimum spanning tree. We'll add the edge between 6 and 8 into the priority queue. Repeating this process, we'll add the edge between 6 and 8 into the minimum spanning tree along with the vertex 6. At this point, you will see that all the vertices have been added into the minimum spanning tree. An optimized version of Prim's algorithm can actually stop here. But the simple algorithm that we have will iterate through all the remaining edges and just ignore them because the algorithm that we are studying only stops when the priority queue is empty. So let's see how the algorithm works. It will next select the edge between 3 and 6, which has a value of 12. Both 3 and 6 are in the MST, so it's going to ignore this edge. And this process is going to continue by selecting all the remaining edges and ignoring them. At this stage, you see that all the vertices have been added to the minimum spanning tree and the priority queue is also empty, hence the algorithm would stop. What we have here is the minimum spanning tree, which is provided by Prim's algorithm. With this, I'll conclude this video. Thank you for watching.